Hi boys and girls, here we are at lesson 21, homework, and we're going to solve division problems with remainders using the area model. In lesson 20, we solved them with the area model without remainders. So this lesson we're going to have remainders, so let's begin. We need to solve 35 divided by 2 using the area model, long division, and the distributive property. So for 35 divided by 2, we know that 35 can't be divided by 2 because 2 is an even number, and 35 is not. So we know we're going to have a remainder. So we can use 34 instead. So we um, can divide by 2. We know that 30 divided by 2 is 15, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 34 and one little extra square makes 35. If we use long division, 35 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2 is 1. Multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down the 5. Now 15 divided by 2 is 7 because 7 times 2 is 14. 15 minus 14 is 1. So it is 17 remainder 1. 15 plus 2 is 17 remainder 1. So now if we do our number bond, we did 35 and we divided it 30 4, and then 1 left over. And we're dividing by 2. So in parentheses, 30 divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. 15 plus 2 is 17 and 1 remaining. Same thing for this. 79 divided by 3. Well, you might think that 9 divided by 3, 9 can be divided by 3, but 79? Hmm, no. So we know we're going to have a remainder. So we can use 78, so 60 and 18 divided by 3. And we're going to have a little remainder. 79 divided by 3. 7 divided by 3 is 2. Multiply 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the 9 the 9, giving us 19. Divide. 19 divided by 3 is 6, because 6 times 3 is 18. 19 minus 18 is 1, so we'll have a remainder of 1. Oh, look. 60 divided by 3 is 20. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 26, remainder 1. And what we did here was 60 divided by 3, 18 divided by 3. 60 divided by 3 is 20. 18 divided by 3 is 6. We're going to have a little remainder. Um, so 26 remainder 1. Paulina solved the division problem by drawing this area model. What did she solve? Well, the whole, if we think of this as a tape diagram, 40 plus 40 is 80. 80 plus 16 is 96. But we have these two square units, so 96, 97, 98. So it's 98 divided by 4. And we're going to now turn this into to a distributive model. So we have 40 divided by 4, 40 divided by 4, 16 divided by 4, and then 2 remaining. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 10 plus 10 plus 4 is 24, remainder 2. They want you to solve these problems using the area model and check with either the distributive model or long division. For the first two, we're going to use the distributive model. Then I really would like you to use the long division method because that is what you're really going to be using from now on and you have to become um, better acquainted with it and be able to do it a little more fluently and understand the process more and more because practice makes better. So 42 divided by 3, we could do 30 plus 12, that's 30 plus 12 is 42 divided by 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 12 divided by 3 is 4. We know the answer is going to be 14. So now we turn this into the distributive model. 30 divided by 3 in parentheses plus 12 divided by 3 in parentheses. 30 divided by 3 is 10 plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 10 plus 4 is 14. That is our answer. But now we have 43 divided by 3. This divided ev evenly, so we know we're going to have a remainder. So we can still use the same area model, but we're going to have an extra square unit. So again, 30 divided by 3, 
12 divided by 3 and 1 left over. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 14, remainder 1. So again, now we're going to check with long division. 52 divided by 4. Well, we can do 40 and 12 because 40 plus 12 is 52. And we know 40 divided by 4 is 10. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we know our answer should be 13. So 52 divided by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 2. Now we have 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. No remainder. So now we have 54 divided by 4. We knew that this divided evenly, so we know this will not. We have two more, so we have two square units remaining. Same area model. 54 divided by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 4. Hmm, 14 divided by 4. Hmm, the closest we can get is 12. So 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. Remainder 2. And that's our remainders. 61 divided by 5. Well, we know that if you... The multiples of 5... If you count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, we know that there's always a 0 or a 5 in the 1's place. And this doesn't, 61 does not have a 0 or a 5. It actually has 1 extra. So we can do 50 plus 10, which is 60, and there's our 1. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. We know our answer is going to be 12, remainder 1. So let's see. 6 divided by... 5 is 1, 1 times 5 is 5, subtract, 6 minus 5 is 1, bring down, we have 11. 11 minus 5 is, 11 minus, 11 divided by 5 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10, 11 minus 10 is 1, so it's 12 remainder 1. 73 divided by 3, hmm, well, we know there's going to be a remainder you can do 60 and 12, and that's 72, and 1 makes 73. 60 divided by 3 is 20. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we know our answer is going to be 24, remainder 1. Let's see. 7 divided by 3 is 2. Multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down. 13 divided by 3 is 4. Divide. Multiply, 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract, 13 minus 2 is 1. So it is 24, remainder 1. And now we have our word problem. 97 lunch trays were placed equally in four stacks. How many lunch trays were in each stack? And how many will be left over? So we can do an area model. And we have 80 plus 16 is 96, and 1 is 97. And we're dividing by 4. 80 divided by 4 is 20. 16 divided by 4 is 4, so we know our answer is going to be 24, remainder 1. 9 divided by 4 is 2. Multiply, 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract, 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down the 7, 17. 17 divided by 4 is 4. Multiply, 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract, 17 minus 16 is 1. So it is 24, remainder 1. We need to make our statement. There were 24 lunch trays in each stack. There will be one lunch tray left over. I know I went qu quickly, but as I've said before, you really do need to know your facts. Your multiplication facts, your division facts. Um, the goal was that you left third grade knowing all your multiplication and division facts were multiplication to 10 times 10 and those corresponding division facts. The only facts you're supposed to learn in fourth grade are your 11s and 12s. So if you don't have those facts down, you really need to practice them every night at home. There are apps on um, iPads and phones and computers. Your parents can um, quiz you. Um, you can practice saying the multiples. You know, I know you can go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You can count by 2s. You can count by 5s. So you should practice your 3s, your 4s your sixes, your sevens, your eights, your nines. You really need to know those um, quickly. 
because now we're doing more um, challenging multiplication and division problems, you don't want to spend time figuring out a fact because then you lose the process. So um, you should always find time to do that. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at school. Bye-bye.